All right, so if you remember, I got this TV a few weeks back, but one of the things about putting it on the stand I realized is that there wasn't really a good place to put the sound bar that I used to use. So currently I actually have it behind the TV, which is not ideal to say the least. And I got a lot of comments flaming me for that. I'm not a huge sound quality guy, but something I did realize is that it's super annoying to adjust the volume because since it's behind the TV, I actually have to come over here and like grab this remote and then reach around to be able to do it the signal doesn't go through the TV. And so I think what I'm gonna do today is take the speakers that I have upstairs at my desk and then move them on either side of the TV and see how that looks. I think it'll work a lot better. Also realistically, I use those speakers probably like maximum once a week, really just to edit my videos. And I have headphones. They're not really getting a ton of use upstairs. So yeah, I'm gonna take out all the wiring from the old speaker setup and then install those new speakers right here. Should be good. speakers I was using before, it's a sound bar and then a subwoofer setup. I think these are from Samsung and I got them for like 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace when I first moved into my apartment. These worked pretty well and I was honestly pretty happy with the setup, but again, there just wasn't a good place to put it. The ones on my desk also are white and so I think they'll match the TV really well. So time to retire this bad boy and replace it with the other speakers. So these are the speakers that I'm gonna be replacing the one downstairs with. It's these two speakers from Canto. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for where I got them. These are definitely, in terms of just audio quality, a lot better than the soundbar that I had downstairs. I think the white on these is gonna match with the TV really well. So super excited to see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after I install the speakers. I just put them on either side of the TV and I think they match really well because the white from the speakers matches the white on the TV. And it almost kind of looks like it's a set or it's like supposed to go together. Super happy with how it looks. Let me know what you guys think. If I should maybe like get speaker stands on the side or if I should just keep them on the media stand with the TV. I think for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this and just test it out for a few days, see how I like it. But yeah, I think it looks really good. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love and it's Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So oh, I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything Ooh. 
All right, so this just arrived and maybe you can tell by the shape already, but this is a authentic Lynn Rose Togo sofa, specifically a Togo love seat. I don't even, I feel like I don't even know what to say right now because ever since I got into interior design two years ago, I've basically been dreaming of getting this piece. And after two whole years, I finally had a good opportunity to buy it at a pretty good price. And so I scooped it up, it just arrived. I am super excited to unbox it with you guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. Let's do it. I just finished unboxing it and set it up. Super excited to finally have this piece. It took me a while to get it, even though I wanted it for so long, just because honestly, the price. <laughs> I was able to get it from the team at Rarify. I'll be sure to leave a link for all their info in the bio, but big shout out to their team for sourcing this one for me. And I'll be super transparent. I got this one for 3.2K after shipping. So I think shipping was $700 across the US. Before shipping, $2,600. Definitely very expensive for a sofa, but compared Compared to a lot of the ones that you find online, it was definitely a really good price and I love this color. I'll talk about that in a little bit. If you know anything about Togos, you know that they are ridiculously expensive. I think the ones on Design Within Reach right now, this love seat configuration is something crazy like $8,000. So I feel like $2,600 versus $8,000, I'm pretty happy with the deal that I got. So I decided to pick it up in this beige grayish green color, which is pretty different from the rest of the sofas in my apartment, which are obviously most white but I think with a piece like this that I know is gonna last a really long time I wanted it in a color that would not show stains as much and then I guess while I'm already talking about this Togo I'll quickly talk about that old Togo chair that I had so that one was a replica Togo that I think I got off of Wayfair for like $500 a year or two ago when I first moved into my apartment in terms of the authentic one versus the replica one for like 95% or honestly I'll even say like 99% of people spending $3,000 on a couch is probably not a great financial decision but the reason why I decided to go for it is because obviously I'm a huge design lover and on top of that one of the huge benefits of buying an authentic product like this versus a replica is something like this I know will last me an extremely long time I actually had a chance to speak with the owner of the San Francisco Lynn Rose location and she says that she's had her Togo for over 30 years and that's definitely true like I know people who have had Togos from the 1960s 1970s that they still use now and so something like this that I know is going to realistically last me like 20, 30 years is going to be a good investment, especially because with something so iconic like this, I'm sure you guys have seen the Togo sofa all over the internet. They also hold their value really well. And so in the event that I would ever want to get rid of it, which honestly, I probably won't, I know that I'd be able to sell it for at least around the same price that I got it for. But again, I also don't necessarily have anything against people buying replica products. Obviously, I had one before. And I think for most people that don't really care about the specific design details and can afford an authentic one, it makes total sense because you know you get 80% of the product get the overall look of it the other thing I will say I think there's also a bit of a ethical aspect to it they're obviously not paying respect to the original designers and the original manufacturers of that specific product so for example this was produced by Lynn Rose which are all made in France and the designer is Michael Dugaroy so those companies like Wayfair and Amazon or whatever producers they have that are mass producing those replica ones you can pretty much be guaranteed that they did not receive permission from the original designer to replicate those products. In terms of how they stack up if you're considering purchasing an original Togo versus just buying a replica one, I will say that after sitting on it, you can definitely tell the difference. And the main thing you can really tell is actually the shape and the way that it feels when you sit on it. I'll include some more close-up shots, but these authentic ones have a very specific sort of like curve to the front. So when you sit in it, you really feel like you're being cradled by it versus the replica ones. The foam is a lot softer and the shape is not as curved and it kind of just feels like you're sitting on an over glorified bean bag that doesn't have that much structure. I think the reason for that is these authentic ones are made from three different densities of foam and they're very particular about the materials that they use. Something like this, the shape will hold much, much better over time than something like a replica. I've only had that replica one for like a year and a half and already it's definitely lost its shape a lot and it's not nearly as comfortable to sit on. It 
doesn't like form around your body like this one does. So that's one thing, the shape and just the overall comfort. The other thing is the fabric material. So this is, I think, a Heather Gray Alcantara fabric. It's a performance fabric. It's pretty stain resistant and overall will just last a lot better than that other one, which I had was like a bouquet, that boucle fabric. So yeah, I am super, super happy to have it in my house. Now that I have it though, I'm realizing that the current living room setup is not the most ideal it's because it does feel a little bit cramped to have it here. Part of me kind of wants to go back to the old setup and I'll insert a picture real quick and then putting this under the big loft windows that I have just because I think it'll fit the space a little bit better. But I'm definitely curious to hear all of your thoughts on terms of where I should put it because I honestly <laughs> did not think that far ahead. I just saw this great deal and I wanted to get this piece and so it's here now and now I have to figure out what to do with it.